Welcome back to Vegas Live. I'm Nina, your host, and we're down at the Pepper Mall, which is amazing. And I always have these, as I say, reoccurring guests. And I have this fabulous woman. She is actually the art. You're the consulate for Sweden, aren't you? That's right. And uh, she's absolutely an incredible woman. And and you're but you're very very busy. Yeah. And you do an awful lot, you know, uh, for Vegas. Mm -hmm. and does it. And um, you also have you have this um, timeless prevention. Which is the um, AP? Which is the what is it? What you call it? AIP. The yeah, awareness is prevention. Is my awareness foundation. prevention is prevention is prevention. Yeah. Awareness is, is prevention. prevention is the name of her foundation, and that is for the um, runaway kids and for the. It's to bring awareness to the sex trafficking epidemic because it is an epidemic right now. It's yes. so bad. Yes. Average age is 12. I think last time oh. I was on the show, average age was 14. JD, yes. party of three, your table is ready. It's JD, party of three. Yeah. 12. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you can go on our website to get a lot of stats. www.awarenessisprevention.com yeah. is our website. Yes. And now you you've got read. a function coming up on July the 30th. Party of three, your table is ready. We have we can, we can get that out there. There you are. It's called Timeless Prevention. I'm doing it with a friend of mine who is importing the most beautiful turmeric from Costa Rica and she is giving parts of the proceeds to our foundation. So we are doing fundraisers together. This is one is going to be a Panacea restaurant in Boca Park, 1.30 to 4.30 on Sunday, the July 30th. There will be a workshop. She will teach you all about turmeric and the health benefits and we're having a party afterwards, so networking, you know, with a lot of good hors d'oeuvres, wine, champagne, Absolutely. great yeah. raffles. You know, this woman is the most hard-working woman I've ever known. I know you're the consulate for, for Sweden, which gives you, but you, ha you, you do all that sort of for free. I mean, yeah. everything, so you're caught up with, and then when you do that for free, you also sort of have to take care of all these foundations as well, and you have to, you're a very busy woman, and how's it going out there? Is it? Well, the, the consulate work is going well, yeah. and uh, in addition with all the trafficking, it's been very interesting. We have had five State Department sponsored groups coming here to study trafficking from all over the world. Why are they coming to, to Vegas? Uh, because we bid on these uh, programs. Okay. And um, if you come up with something interesting enough, they will choose Las Vegas. It's been very interesting to share the information and how we do it with trafficking in the various parts of yeah. the world. I mean, Lebanon was very interesting. Palestine Lebanon. was what very mean, interesting. No, wait a minute, Lebanon. I lived in Lebanon. I know for a you did. We had two uh, police, chief of police over here. Really? Yeah. And they have a lot of trafficking oh, there? With the Syrian refugees. Yeah. So this, yeah, this is becoming a big problem all it's over worldwide. the world. This and we have worldwide. the same problem. We're yeah. facing exactly the same issues. Where, and I take them all from over. Syria? In well, the, that's uh, Lebanon. That's mainly Lebanon. Lebanon. What about hair? Do you have any hair? Any refugees hair? Not that we have so much problems with the uh, trafficking with. You no. don't. That's more no. in the in the refugee camps no. in oh, yeah. in Middle East and Europe. They have. Yeah. Oh, how absolutely yeah. awful! Yeah. Um, what is the ratio now? As you said, it's now four, it was tw fourteen, and now it's gone down to twelve, mm -hmm. which is terrible, absolutely awful. Um, I believe our homeless children is it still sixteen thousand, or is that going down? It's about the same. About the same. Yeah. Sixteen thousand homeless children just in Nevada, I guess. Yeah. Which is probably well, mostly primarily Vegas. Primarily Vegas. Primarily yeah. Las Vegas. Yeah. Why is it so prominent here? Why do these do these children get left behind by the parents or do yeah. they come here young? I think it's a combination. And it's a combination of the temptation in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's you a, know, yeah, it's a you think you can... Oh, the strip, the glitz, the I can do something yeah, here. I think there's diamonds yeah. all over the sidewalks yeah. and there's no diamonds. No, no diamonds at all. No. So does that attract the, 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 the younger kid that like, might just leave home? Probably a lot and uh, the main problem right now with the trafficking and the police doesn't really know what to do because it's the gangs getting involved. All the gangs now coming from California. This started a year ago. Oh really? They are let out Josh, of prison from California Josh. if they have done thirty percent of their jail time. And these Only are thirty percent. Yeah, started with seventy percent, then it went down to fifty percent. Now it's thirty percent because they have no room in the in the prisons. So the Don't gangs build get more out. prisons. Yeah, <laughs> the gangs get out. And these are murderers. I mean, these are brutal people. And now, guess what they're getting into? Sex trafficking. It's very profitable. 
So now they make money off these young kids, mm -hmm. and is this why it's gone down to 12 years old? Uh, part of it, but it's just it's just the name of the game. Is so you always want to have the younger and boys, girls and boys, because they are easier to manipulate. You can sell them over and over again. Remember, sex trafficking is profitable because the the girls and the boys are collateral. What man in his right mind? I want to have sex with a 12 year old. Mm -hmm. Give me that answer. You can email me, you can do anything you want. I'd love to know that answer. Uh, man, and I guess there's some women that also, you know, not probably so much. Not really. But it's mostly no. a man's thing. I yeah. mean, in his right mind, mm -hmm. I, I, I haven't been able to fathom this out. I haven't been able to fathom out 16,000 homeless. But we talk about homeless in Vegas. Nancy and in, A, party in, of three. Nancy A, party of three. It is all over the world everywhere oh yeah so it is I, it I don't is. know what we're doing with as parents and i don't know what we're doing as human beings because we don't seem to be taking care we're not taking care of our younger generation which are our future leaders oh, that's right so what are we doing are mm -hmm. we teach are we just abandoning them or what are we doing well if people don't get involved in this because i'm getting to a point where someone tells me oh i had no idea i feel like shaking them and say where have you been well, yeah, because now know. you talk about it, you hear it on television, you hear it on radio, yes. you read about it, it's out there now. Yeah. It's not like it was three, four years ago when you really didn't hear much about tra sex trafficking. No, you didn't. Uh, uh, one of the most well-known models is the Swedish model, and it's been interesting with all these international groups because they all know the Swedish model. Yes. And I met the ambassador in Stockholm in May, yes. who is working with trafficking worldwide, yeah. and this, what the Swedish model is, they prosecute the Johns with the people that buy the sex. They really? prosecute them and they get jail So they get, it, they get it at the beginning, before yeah. they start. Yeah, so they take care you, of the demand. So would you say that, the uh, and I hate to, because I, I love the internet, is this a lot of because of the internet yeah. that they can actually just, you oh, know, yeah, 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 plug in there and they yeah. can get all this stuff off the internet. Yeah. And then once they get that, they want the real thing. Mm -hmm. Of course. Internet is a, uh, Internet is good and bad and... Well, it's like anything. Anything's yeah. good and bad. So yeah. I'm not going to knock the internet because I live off no, it. I mean, exactly. I can't do that. Exactly. But at the same time, you know, that's right. bad. That's why it's so easy to do this trafficking business because you use the internet. How the, as you said, so you don't have much trafficking in Sweden then? No, it's gone down. These, the Johns, are family fathers. They live among us. They have their own children. They have respectable jobs. They know, they, they, they anybody. And to be caught, and end up in jail has been traumatic. Oh, yeah. It spread <laughs> like wildfire. <laughs> I don't want that, right? <laughs> Norway has incorporated, Denmark, Holland, Belgium is working on it. Okay. It's so it's spreading. becoming international, yeah. so, so they're getting a grasp yeah. on Even it. the people from Lebanon said, we love the Swedish model. I yes. said, do you want me to put you in contact with the people in Sweden doing this? Absolutely. Said, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you think that will come over here? Uh, I'm going to invite the ambassador to come over here and meet with everybody. And talk and, about um, it. Yeah, with yeah. the AG's office and the police department and the trafficking task force. But with the tourism here, it's a little difficult to incorporate here because a lot of the Johns here are tourists. But, yeah. So it's, so it's not so easy. It's not so easy. No. And it is, and also that's why yeah. we have so many homeless and that's why we have so much trafficking because, yeah. you know, a lot of the ho well, I'm, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm going to get the plug in for one hotel who's yes. really doing something. Yes. Aria. Aria. Aria has trained all their personnel. Their whole security force is there not to punish the girls for trespassing or anything. They help them. Oh, they help them? They help them. That's they have, amazing. They befriend them, they help them, they feed them if they need, if they need help, they will give them and help. And I think that's yeah. what we need, and you just said something absolutely Dermine amazing. That they need us, we're the, the grown-ups, we're the people to help you out there. And whether it's your child or somebody else's child, still help them. Yeah, It does exactly. not make any difference. Exactly. These kids need help, and the 16,000 homeless, don't forget, they need homes. Yeah. They're homeless, so mm -hmm. they need a home. Mm -hmm. Hello? There's a lot of money in this town. That's true. <laughs> there is a lot of money in this town. <laughs> lot, and a lot of hotels. Yeah. And a lot of places we could actually put these children Absolutely in. Absolutely. That we could actually do. Yeah. Um, uh, again, you've got this, this this timeless prevention coming up. It's on July the 30th. Yeah, you can see it on Eventbrite. Just look up timeless prevention, July 30th. You can buy a ticket. Come on over. you learn about health benefits of turmeric. You will learn about trafficking a little bit. And you're going to have fun. Champagne, wine, and wonderful adors. And I see it's a new all, restaurant. And it's all for a good cause. It's all for the that's children right. out there. We and need that's your what we support. Need. Um, and this is why I love to have her on because um, I'm actually four children. I had a children's program for 16 years. So if I can help, I got your backs, kids. I got your back. She does. We'll be back. <laughs>